Your confidence in life will be on the strength of your knowledge of God. Your confidence in life will be on the strength of your knowledge of God. Your confidence in life, that includes every endeavor you are part of, will be on the strength of your knowledge of God. 2 Timothy 1 12. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12, please. The Bible says, For the which cause I also suffered these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed. Hallelujah. And I am persuaded. Say persuaded. One more time. Say persuaded. I am persuaded that he is able. His ability was derived from my knowing him. That he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him. I have taught you here, Koinonia, that... God does not keep what you have. He keeps what you commit to him. The bank does not keep the money in your house. They keep the money you deposit as a trust in the account. Am I right on that? If you have one million and you keep it in your house and it is stolen and you blame the bank, you see that now? The court will charge you for fraud because they are not entitled to keep anything outside of their jurisdiction. So God cannot protect a destiny that is not handed over to him. If you trust him enough, trust him with your life. If you trust him enough, trust him with your destiny. If you trust him enough, trust him even with your days. They looked unto him and their faces were lightened. There is no shame when we trust in the Lord. The Bible even says with all our hearts we should trust him. And it says to lean not unto our own understanding. He says in all your ways, Proverbs 3, 5 to 7, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Next verse says, be not wise in your own understanding. He says, fear the Lord and depart from evil. Be strong in the Lord. Please look at me. A time will come when... The only true ally in your life will be God. Did you hear what I said? A time will come when the most trusted ally in your life will be God. Some trust in horses, some trust in chariots. How many of you know that horses and chariots are a warrior's ally? He needs them to be efficient in war. But he says some trust, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. Early enough you must learn that the greatest security in your life, the longevity factor in this ministry, your ministry, destiny, your family, your business is God himself. And if you allow your knowledge of God to suffer because you are pursuing any other thing, you will learn painfully with time that you made a bad bargain with destiny. Are we together? Be strong in the Lord. First two words, be strong. It takes strength to continue. The Bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle, it says your strength is small. If you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. Caleb spoke in Joshua chapter 14 and verse 11. He said, as I was, can you imagine? By what technology? It's not a natural thing. He says, I am yet as strong this day as I was when Moses sent me. 40 years down the line, the guy said, I am still strong for war. I am still strong to go in and I am still strong to go out. I made a joke some time ago that many leaders are usually eager to serve, not just to serve nations, to serve companies. I've prayed for many people at their retirement or when maybe another director takes over. And usually, I am shocked to see that the zeal that they had when they began that adventure usually diminishes sometimes almost to zero at the point of retirement. I've seen people clamor for positions and titles. And at the point where the reality of that office beats on them, when they're about to retire, they retire in a hurry. They said, director, can we shift your retirement by two weeks? Say, no way, I will retire now because they are tired of all the troubles. Something happens to men when they stay long enough with men. They almost choose to quit. It takes a man who knows God to remain in the world of men. Let me repeat this again. 
it takes a man who knows God to remain in the world of men the stories and the episodes of pain betrayal anger and a mix of all the humanities of men is sufficient to to blow your vision deflate your passion erode your appetite and your energy it takes a man who knows God to have the stamina to continue in this world of men be strong in the Lord be strong in the Lord what happens to a pastor when he loses say his wife or his child at that point you need beyond masculinity at that point is beyond brain work there are things that can befall men in life that makes you to wish death have you seen people commit suicide in our world do you think it's that easy to kill yourself don't try it are we together but our world is full of people who jumped into lagoons and made certain statements others recorded themselves world this is to let you know where i'm about to die i am tired i'm 35 45 nothing is working and they jump in and you would think they are playing until you find them dead a man's spirit can be so broken that death looks like gain a man's spirit can be so broken that by yourself you will want to kill yourself hallelujah many years ago i had the honor of praying for someone who had an accident and it's not a picture i want to paint for you that person was so broken like for the rest of his or her life they will not be able to walk i mean anywhere you can find bone was broken how the person was alive i remember talking to the person and the man true story the man said i wish for death i'm already saved why will i live like this being a burden to my wife being a burden to my children people have left jobs to take care of me they have left everything it's unfair to them that was his he cried with his tears he said at least if i die i know i'm going to heaven and all the monies that are spent on me can be used for something else can i tell you people can go through things in life that makes them pray by themselves for death this is life for you you need to be strong in the lord moses you are about to lead God's people into the promised land. You have no idea the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, and all the people, the forces that you'll be contending with. So he told Joshua, like he told Moses, be strong. Remember, he said it before the journey. When God tells you be strong, he means he's talking to a warrior. Are we together? Be strong be strong it takes strength to remain there are people today who became great and they started the journeys of their life with no father and no mother but they became strong they said listen I may not be able to do anything about my life daddy died mommy died sisters died no siblings no support but for as long as I have breath within me I will take a step of faith and some of them went to go and write jam by themselves they went to gain admission by themselves. All they had was money enough to get into the school. Some of them today are company owners. It takes strength to do anything in life. Giving flimsy excuses and blaming yesterday and men is the lot of weak people. You need to be strong. First in the Lord. Someone prophesy to yourself. Say be strong. Mean what you are saying. One more time. Say be strong. Be strong means I know that things have happened around your life that is unfavorable. But rest in the fact that there is a God who can save men. Are we together now? Be strong in ministry. You started ministry and after 10 years, there are only two members. Be strong. Be strong. You have a problem right now with your rent. Embarrassment is imminent. Be strong. One thing I can tell you about life is that it passes. Life is not static. Life moves. And if you have the endurance, that scene will change. It's like the pages of a book. It will take time to open. It's like the hand of a clock. Have you seen a clock with a battery that stays? It moves. It may move slow, but the same distance that our hand is moving is what the minute and the second is moving. It's just that your attention is on the hour hand. That's why it looks slow. Everything in life will come to pass be strong 
there are men who do not have the stamina to look on to Jesus and to be strong. Who would ever believe that upon this earth today, according to the authority of scripture, that a flood once covered the earth and there was no land and there were only eight people. You would think the earth would never have land again. Look at the world today. Nothing is as dangerous, as powerful, as threatening as it initially looks. I have taught you that life always comes with its challenges in a magnified form. It takes stamina to deflate it to its right size and then defeat it by understanding. Someone prophesy, be strong. You are not the first to look for a house rent. Please, it's not a unique attack to you. You are not the first to struggle with a child. I know that there are parents who are struggling with autistic children and let me tell you the truth it is a very difficult thing I have witnessed for myself there are people struggling with all kinds of cases and whilst they pray every day the situation seems to deteriorate the staying power is derived from the ability to know God and to draw strength from him I know God I may not know the director in that company but I know God I may not know the president the owner of the oil and gas company but I know God and my Bible says the people that know their God even though they are weak it said they shall be strong someone say be strong that police case will come to pass be strong that issue with your relatives be strong I know that you are the first son now out of 12 children and you don't even have a job you don't know how to take care of the remaining hey be strong crying does not solve the problem be strong you need to shut your door and prophesy to yourself be strong let me tell you the truth behind every exploit you see until men tell you their challenges and take off their destiny clothes for you to see the scar you usually will focus on the crown alone there is no champion who did not weary seasons through their courage. Be strong. It's not unique to you.